This exercise is about intuition actuarial notation that we're going to use a lot in this course. Let me first introduce this notation. We're going to denote by pxt the, survival, the probability that life aged x will survive next t years. We're going to denote by qxt the probability that life aged x will die within next years. We're also going to define the deferred mortality probability, that is, the life aged x survives first few years and dies within subsequent t years. Also, if we if we are talking about the probability of survival within next year or probability of dying within next year, we will drop the left sub su superscript in these notations. In this exercise, we are given with these fo with four quantities. The first one says that the probability that life aged x will survive next year is equal 0.99. The next one, the probability of the life aged x plus 1 will survive next year is equal 0 0.9 A5. The probability, the probability that life aged x plus 1 will survive the next 3 years is equal 0 0.95. And the probability that life aged x plus 3 will die within the ne this year, next year is 0 0.02. In the first part of this exercise, we are asked to find the probability that life aged x plus 3 will survive next year. And this is equal to 1 minus the probability that life aged x plus 3 will die within next year, because these two events are complementary. This also can be seen if we, as, if we sum these two equations. Uh, and of course this probability, because we know this quantity qx plus 3, then this probability is equal to 0.98. In the second part of this exercise, we are asked to find the probability that life aged x will survive next two years. Uh, before we proceed with this exercise, we recall that the probability that life aged x will survive um, t plus u years can be decomposed at the product of two probabilities. The one that probability, probability that life aged x will survive next t years times the probability that life aged x plus t survives next u years. If we apply this equation to, to our question, then we can write this as a product of uh, probability of life aged x surviving next year times the probability that life aged x plus 1 surviving also one year. We know th both of these two quantities uh, and if when we multiply them we obtain the answer which is 0 0.9751. Next, we are asked to find the probability that life aged x plus 1 will survive next two years. We could also decompose this probability as we did in B, but unfortunately we don't know the probability for life aged x plus, x plus 2. But what we do know is the probabilities for lives aged x plus 1 and x plus 3. Therefore, we could write down the probability that life aged x plus 1 will survive next three years as a product of probability that life aged x plus 1 survives next two years times probability that life aged x plus 3 survives one year. Uh, we know the quantities on the left hand and one quantity on the, on the right hand, therefore we could write down the probability that life aged x plus 1 survives next two years as the ratio of these two probabilities. Next we need to find the probability that life aged x survives next three years. We can, we can again apply in the same formula and write down this probability as a product of probability that life aged 
x survives next year times the probability that life aged x plus 1 survives next two years. We know both of this quantity and this product is approximately given by 0 0.959. Finally, we are asked to find the deferred probability qx12. That is the probability that life aged x will survive at least one year but will die in subsequent two years. Note that the uh, deferred probabilities in general can be written as a product of two probabilities. Probability that life uh, survives, life aged x survives first few years, and times the probability that life aged x plus u dies in subsequent t years. If we apply this formula here, then we can write down this probability that as a product of probability life aged x surviving one year times probability that uh, life aged x plus one died within next two years. Uh, we don't know the second probability, but we can easily find it via its complement. And we can, and this is approximately 0 0.03. But note here that if we continue writing down this formula, we could write it as a px minus px times probability x plus 1, 2. But this is nothing but probability that life aged x surviving three years. In other words, this quantity, we have a difference between probability of life aged x surviving one year minus probability that of life aged x surviving three years. And this is nothing but the formula given in this equation here. And we again know this both of these probabilities and this is also, of course, approximately 0 0.03.